Hello. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a cook with me. Saul is going to make some sopa fideo with some um uh, nah, sopa fideo. Oh, sopa de fideo, whatever. Um Pretty quick, it's like literally simple. one of my favorite things ever. It's super simple. Um, this is the simple version. You can always make um, like the sauce yourself, like tomato sauce. Yeah. But who's got time for that when you got two kids? Not us. <laughs> but one thing we do do that's not traditional is we add some shredded rotisserie chicken in there. It's so good. And it's, well, if you do it the cheat way like what we're doing, it's only, like this doesn't really count. It's only really tomato sauce, the noodles, which are, I will check I open them. the bag, the the noodles. Uh, and that's pretty yeah. much it, and then, like, and some water, obviously, but, uh, what we do, oh, you can always use chicken broth instead of water, mm -hmm. I've done, we've done that, too. but if not, you use, uh, something like this, where it's condensed, uh, chicken broth in these cubes, so it looks like this, and that's gonna add its flavor. So we're just gonna throw in a little bit of oil. Nothing crazy, we just wanna make sure the uh, noodles kinda get a little bit of brown. And Ash, oh Ash is awake, see? Yeah, she decided to fall asleep at what, four or something? Four, like, like four? three something. Four like close to four, and we tried to get her to nap since like 12. And she just got really grumpy and cranky and she just fell asleep so I forced her awake. Not forced her awake. I, I woke her up because So this is the first step. Up late. Oil, obviously. Uh, throw. Go ahead throw your noodles in. Uh, you can always measure it out. We just do the whole thing so we can have leftovers for a, a day or two. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just go ahead stir it around. Uh, you can burn these. Don't burn them. Kind of <laughs> try to avoid it so it's fine. Occasionally just stir it, you eventually will get light brown. Um, that's pretty much the beginning process of it. So see, how the, can you see that browning? Like, can you can you tell? Like mm -hmm. it's starting to brown a little bit. That's a good sign. We don't want everything to be brown because that's going to be impossible. So this is why we'll add our cube. And you can do chicken broth or the, they have this in powder form as well. I think cubes are easier. See, see how it gets like it's melted. We will just now stir it all in there. And don't worry about it, it's not going to melt down into like a liquid, uh, but it will dissolve finally when we add all the water and all that. So kind of just put a little bit in and then you stir it around. Um, you just want to like coat them, you don't want to really drown them in, in the tomatoes uh, okay. sauce. Yeah. Unless you want like a really tomatoey taste. Uh, but I've also heard paste is really good for this, but I've never had it with tomato paste or sauce. So there, uh, add some more. That should be good, I think. Let's see. So this is, I mean, this is fine right here. Everything seems covered, but you can always just you can always just add a little bit. You just don't want to soak it because if you do, uh, at least what I've learned when it comes to like because this is the same recipe as rice, as Mexican rice. Um, you always want um, the tomato sauce to be either boil off or kind of I don't know. You just don't want it soupy with tomato sauce. You know, like, I don't know what to say. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but this should be fine here. Uh, kind of give it a little bit of stir. And this is where we're going to add our water. What I've learned, it's about four cups of water. I don't want it to burn out. Oh, oh my gosh. And so four cups right there. 
there, I, and then you kind of just, obviously you just cover it. Um, what I do is, well, it wasn't as hot, so it might take a little bit longer. Wait, what you want to do is just kind of bring it up to a boil a little bit. Just a little bit more water, just because. See the point? Yeah, you kind of want to bring it up to a boil a little bit, and then once it goes to a boil, you're going to lid it, just like rice, kind of. Um, but it just takes uh, a lot quicker, per se. I brought it back to a boil, or brought it almost to a boil, um, so it's pretty good. But if, I mean, it's all visual, but that, you know, that looks pretty much halfway there. Um, so now we will add the lid, just kind of make sure all that heat and evaporation and blah, 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 blah. The lid That's is good. on the counter. Uh, cooks it all the way through. <laughs> this is the wrong one. No, it's the right one. Oh. That's the one I used this morning. So, I always let it, um, stay in a boil for a little bit, just to make sure. Kind of keeps that heat in, and then I'm gonna just lower it. Not on low, but a little bit above low. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna be probably about 10 minutes or less. You cook it just to like the consi consistency, <laughs> consistency that you like. Um, I mean, we like it both ways. We like it if it's really soupy or if it's not so soupy. Um, for us, it really doesn't matter. It's kind of just whatever tastes good with the, or the noodles. So if you have a lot of um, soup good. or a lot of tomato soup, basically, uh, that's totally fine. Uh, even if you don't have a lot of soup, that's equally as fine too. So it just depends on preferences. We've had it all both ways where yeah. it's in a good bowl and then all that like not. Like my family, way. when we make our fideo, uh, it's more s like kind of that pasta consistency where it's not so soupy. But if I get fideo from um, this restaurant, um, it's more of the soupy consistency, and they're always like, oh, you didn't like it? I'm like, no, I literally just eat the noodles. Yeah. <laughs> so they're always like, oh, you didn't like her soup? And I'm like, no, I loved it. It's just, I don't really want to put the effort into slurping all the juice down. Yeah. But yeah, so I'd be like it both your preference. It's almost done. Chicken's almost shredded off. So we'll ch show um, you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Um, and then right there, we see that that's a fully cooked noodle. Now it's just gonna be whatever consistency you like. Do you like it more soupy? If you don't, it's all good. That's done. You still leave it on that heat for a little bit, and then you add your chicken. Um, the preference is gonna be however much chicken you want is however much chicken you put in. And you don't have to add it into to, here. You yeah. can just add it once you make your bowl. Yeah, so I, that too. So, but, but we, we just like we to just do it. like to throw it in there. Kind of let it absorb. I mean, the chicken usually is dry anyway, so we just let it absorb like all that, all that juice, all that soup. Kind of, I don't know. I mean, I don't even think it really does anything. <laughs> I like to think it does, so. Probably like two handfuls. Two and a half. <laughs> I like chicken, so so yeah. And that is incorporated. And yeah, that's done. Cheese you stuff. put some cheese on uh, top. Cheese on top if you want. Avocado if you have Thank it, you. which we don't. Oh, that. Yeah. They do that at the restaurant. Yeah, I was about to say. That's it, guys. Um, we'll show you what it looks like when it, we serve it. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's super simple. We'll leave the ingredients down below. Um, Cook time was like 20 minutes. Yeah, we could have been like 20 minutes. Something I totally forgot to say is that. Oh, where's the bag? Well, this is the only brand, at least over here, that I've been able to find it, but this is what we use. Um, so, oh, I guess what there is, I don't know, it's like weird, but there's like a number system on some of them. Uh, Fideo. Um, my mom says, I don't know, the ones that she says she's seen uh, has like a number system, like zero, one, two, three, 
Uh, it depends on like, I think the consistency of it. So one of them is going to be softer than the other. I don't know. Uh, but she has told me that. But uh, if you can't find this, you can always use shells or you can use like elbows or anything like that. You can always use any sort of pasta. Uh, but I mean, that one is probably the easiest. It cooks the quickest. You don't always have to use that noodle per se, like this one. You can use literally any noodle, as long as you understand the techniques and the weight, the different cook times. So yeah, this is, oh yeah, look at that bowl. My favorite thing in the world. So look at that. Notice how it went from like, not so soupy, like how it began, remember you see that? Yeah. So that is fine as well. This is what this we is prefer. Perfect. Let's focus real quick. That's what we prefer right here. It's no longer really covered in so much soup. There's just just a little bit, and she adds I cheddar cheese. cheese. Well, this is the only cheese that we have, and I like mine a little bit cheesy. And then we serve it with tortillas, but yeah. yeah I'll take one. But yeah, and these are the best tortillas. We get them from Mont. Yeah, but these ones are from Mont. They're so good. Um, we have to use, the, the worst part, we have to use like our pans, like our ceramic pans. Because our tortilla others, one, our tortilla pan just gets stuck. It sticks so bad. Or you have to spray like non-stick pan on it, but I don't really like doing that. Anyway, that's it for our little cook with me. You guys should definitely try it out. It's perfect for this cold weather. It's so good. I, I love when someone makes this. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you enjoyed this recipe. Um, and also hit the bell button so you're notified every time we post a video. <laughs> post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment and on what we should cook next. I mean, we're going to cook something, but if you guys have a preference, yeah. then we know a recipe for ourselves. We will see you guys Monday's in our video. next video. Bye.